Vamos. Welcome to Paddle Tips. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have Magnus from Paddle Vermillion. Please like the page of Paddle Vermillion. Magnus is a super nice guy and he has a great bandeja that you can see in this video. We did a little bit things with his elbow with the bandeja. We did some defending work and also we went back to the surf because I feel like the surf is super important. Have fun watching Taximic it. Turn and then hold the turn because you don't want to go all the way there. Then the follow through is shorter. So I can calculate the amount of blocks. So when I hit here, I will go forward, 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 longer. But now I cannot. If I am positioned here, my follow through is way longer. So I can do better with my forehand folly. But if I'm here, and I go like this, I have a lot of slice. But if I remain here, I have slice and spin. And that makes it very hard to defend with the wall or with the folly. So when the ball's coming, it's going to be here, and then the hole. So your right shoulder is always looking to me the entire time. Yeah. So if the ball's higher than the net, you can attack. And, and you can do that earlier because you're tall. Uh, so it doesn't really matter where you're on the court, but more about the height of the contact point. So if you're at the back and the ball's high, you can still kill anybody. You will hit very low on my feet. And then I think, okay, I'm gonna move closer. And then you play the lob and you win the net very easy. And then you win all of your matches. Let's pick up the balls. I think um, what you're doing from the back ball, could be exactly the same as the overhead. It's the same shot. So let's try a few and then I can see uh, how you do it. Okay, let's start with the bandeja in the corner. starts here so it's like going and I think you have a lot of possibilities if you play deep in the corner but if you want to play the angle or side wall first try to prepare like this I, I, I go here yes so what I do myself is when I when I play deeper I have a high preparation and I go for one and when I go to the side or uh, fence I hit it higher and then the angle so I think um, it depends on where you want to aim, okay. but nearly every shot, contact point slightly higher than the head, really far, and start like 
High. Yeah. And then bring it down. Because you have a lot of talent for slice, so that doesn't really matter that much if you're start to fly. Because your slice already brings the ball down. Yes. This one is going to be lower as well. So this this will be better. So when I prepare, close to me and both high. Yes. Oh, high, high, high. Yes. Oh, low, oh, low. Yes. 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 Then aim with your right foot to the, where you want to aim, and then play with right stance. So you, yeah, you're open a lot. Um, I think that would be possible if you're going to be here and play in the corner. But if you have time, your bandeja would be better if you step with your right foot to where you want to play. You want to remain this like um, the same, so not here or not there. Yeah, so this will remain the same. And like this helps with that. So if I want to play to Sasha, I will play here and play the Vanessa. So this corner to, to the camera, I position myself with my left uh, shoulder to the camera and I remain here and then I go there at the end. This arm is up, but it's not really that I'm going there because otherwise I will bring the ball up too much. So the elbow is head high. where your body is and then you will uh, know more or less where the ball is so like heading the ball if you want to head it it would be more difficult because you don't have a reference and if your left or right arm is searching for the ball it's easy to head the ball because you know where your hand is and then you can calculate the distance I think in the end you went uh, further there as well yeah, because here you can bring the ball like uh, lower and more straight. The biggest difference is from here to there. This makes a big difference. And what could happen in the match, I had a few other bandeja lessons as well. Then when you get a lob, uh, it goes there. And then it comes up too much. So it's important to, to run with the racket prepared. So when, when there's a bandeja, I will show my right hand look better. I, I run like this. And I can solve everything. If you think you're gonna get locked, try to read it that you can position yourself slightly more backwards. It's like Chingoto, he's further back. He's very small, but he gets locked a lot, so he positions himself further back. So he can get the lob. Because your bandeja like people still is quite good. So it would be a shame if you are positioned very close to the net, so you cannot really yeah. do a lot of good bandejas people out. Uh, we call it around the corner in Holland. And it's like there, and then it becomes there. It would be easier to have it closer to you because then you can increase the slice. So if I'm here and I prepare like this, and then I do this, I have a lot of slice. And uh, the serve will be way more powerful. So it's better if the, the racket faces to me, 
And then you serve, you maybe higher, like a paleta, yes. Yes, now the ball slides down. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then hold your position. And later. And then you go, yes. Because otherwise, you will be here, dropping the ball, and going forward with your body, and then the ball is behind you. Yeah. So I come around a little bit, I do this. going too far. Yes, so this is the, the maximum. No, this is fine. Yeah. It's just about when you, you're going there and, and this is better. to me, codo arriba. I didn't know what it meant, but although high, yeah. uh, after a while, I had to say, so this is the most important thing, like head high, and then you accelerate a lot with a lot of slides, and the ball stays low, so it's killing anyway, and then with a lot of slides to the middle was nice as well. If this ball is low enough to the center, I cannot lob you, and then I, I have to play low, and you can step in and play in the open corner. So what we, we're doing uh, most of the clinics now is to think two steps ahead. So to the center and the next ball to the corner. Because then you already know. And maybe my partner gets it and then it's in his corner. Yeah. Nice. We can play a little bit more. Let's pick up the balls and then we do this in a rally. 